Guys, wobble wobble wobble, this is downtown Agent Joe with the Kicking Sounds in London town. How are you going out there? Um, I'm going to show you how to use Enet cable with your ISTA. Um, if you remember previously, I had uh, a KCAN cable, which is the, the grey one, which has got the USB connection. On the newer ones, you can use that, but also you're supposed to use, especially if you're going to use ESES you have to use one of these. It's called an e -net cable. It's got the OBD1, uh, sorry, OBD2, and an ethernet port, which you have to connect it up. So I'm gonna show you where and how to do everything. So here we go. So first of all, you have to get this uh, USB, uh, the OBD2. It goes underneath there. There we go. It goes under there. Hope you can see that. Your laptop, plug your in into the USB port, into the um, LAN port. And we're going to now. So just uh, logged on to the computer. Um, now I'm going to start up my ISTA. I've got my ISTA there. If you see here, if you've got the old KCAN cable, it will be set to EDIA bus. The ISP is, uh, is, is blank. You want to set it to this local area network, and I'm going to do that now. Then we hit OK. And let's go back to here. It's asking for a restart. So I'm going to close this stuff, reopen it. Now, on the older E-Series cars, you had to put the key in ignition. As you can see, there is no ignition. So what we do is we, this is already started, so that's good. We do three times. Actually, I'm not even sure if it's three times, but uh, I saw somewhere three times. It seems does seem to work. Okay, so now what we do is we go to operations. Okay, then we go to um, read out vehicle data. Then we click on this one, complete identification. I'm not sure exactly what it's going to do. It may ask for an IP address. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, here we go. So we're going to connect onto this. Can you see Enet? That's my VIN number. It's already made a connection. So let's go to here. And then we go to here, set up connection. And it should start doing its business. And that basically. Ladies and gentlemen, mums and dads, boys and girls, oh, you can see me now, boys and girls, kids and gallery at their home, that is how you connect an e-net cable. I was looking all around, all over the place, and I couldn't work out how to do it. So this is the preferred method, especially if you're going to use eSys and do any programming. So I'm going to do a few things on the car now, but basically that's how you do it. I hope you like this nice short shot this week. If you like this, like the, uh, the like, smash, like, smash the like button, and subscribe. Okay, bye.